Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. It's a bit of a mixed haul today. So I've got um, a few different things to show you from different places. So I've got some things from B&M, some beautiful pots and a sort of novelty thing that hopefully might work. I've got things from Tesco. I say things, they're plants. They're more than things. They're gorgeous. Some plants from Tesco, some books as well and charity shop bargains and some things from Poundland. So yeah, a mixed haul. So all kinds of different things in this video. So I hope that's okay. And before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day. And it is this beautiful one that you might have seen in last week's charity shop haul. Uh, it was £3.50. It's gone cold now, so I can hold the sides. Um, yeah, it was £3.50 from a charity shop, East Coast Hospice. And it's so beautiful. The make is petite. I did this last week as well. Petty Fleur um, by Roy Kirkham, made in England. And it's just so pretty, the little um, tea plate. Is that? No, it's a saucer, isn't it? It's quite a large saucer. I love the pattern, it's gorgeous. And then my teacup, but it's a really big teacup. It's not like the small ones, you know, like the small uh, vintagey ones. It's a nice large mug cup. I'll say cup because it's fine, fine bone china, darling. So this is my mug of the day. I've got um, a decaf coffee that's gone kind of cold. Let me just try a bit. I don't really like it. I don't like it. It's an instant decaf one. Mm, no, no. Yeah, it leaves you a bit of a yeah, taste. You know that hmm, in your mouth. It's a, it's a bit like that. I've got some decaf coffee pods that I like, but I don't think I'm so keen on that. Um, but yeah, so that's the mug of the day, cup of the day. And I'll start off with, shall I do Poundland first? then Charity Shop, then B&M and Tesco. So I just, yeah, okay, I'll do that then. Did you say yeah? Did you say yes? Okay, um, right, so I'll start off with, did I, what did I say first? I've forgotten already. Tesco, B&M, Poundland first, yeah? Let's do Poundland first. Okay, I don't know what I said before. So I've got a little hairband, a little scrunchy scruncher. It's not called a scrunchy scruncher. Keep it up, it's a scrunchy. And I like the little bow thing, so I thought I would, um, get that because when I dry my hair I sometimes put it on top of my head like that and uh and it 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 dries it upside down so hopefully I, I try and get a bit more volume in not that you can tell me probably also I just stood on I just tried to get it and I stood on that bit and I was like why can't I get it and I'm standing on the the like the, the thingy the flap hello um so yeah one pound for that for this lovely scrunchie it's quite pretty though it's got little flowers on it nice material so yeah, that looked nice if I have a ponytail, look quite pretty actually, rather than just a plain one. So a little scrunchy, that was a pound. And then I got a makeup bag. So I thought this was really pretty. It was £1.50, which I think is brilliant value. I don't know if this is left over from Christmas, one of the Christmas presents, because it's part of the forest, wild forest range. And I don't even know if that was down, it was reduced, I'm not sure, because £1.50 is so good for a a really nice makeup bag so it's a really good size probably going to put toiletries in this actually because i need a medium toiletries bag so this would probably be perfect but it'd be a lovely gift actually i got some bath salts a few weeks ago um from poundland they were reduced and it was the same forest wild um i want to sound better if it was wild forest but it's forest wild the same make and the salts are lovely i actually smashed the lid of one of them the little like glass bottles of um, bath salts and uh and I've been using it so because it's open I've been using it more it's really nice actually I've had some nice baths recently and um, so yeah I'll make that bag for 150 and how nice is that leaf there the gold little gold leaf on the bag so it's dark green with gold and then on the inside one of those things I'll just take that out nice and big on the inside so hello it's like saying hi to you hello I'm okay, enjoy the video. So £1.50 for the little makeup bag, which I'll tap over there. And I got a little book for my niece because she likes um, questions and answers and facts and things. So I thought I'd get this for her. So this is um, called, what are you called? It's called, Did T-Rex Have Feathers? Questions and answers about dinosaurs. So who doesn't love a dinosaur fact? Like, it's like, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to read any of these, am I? Um, do you know sauropod trackways from Texas show the giant, I'll do another one. Did you know, oh, I can't read that either. Oh, hang on, it tells you how to read it. Ah, I'll do this one. 
Did you know? Did you know? Pterodactylus. It says you have to. Pterodactylus. Oh, wow, that's spelled so differently from how it's, how you pronounce it. Pterodactylus. Pterodactyl, I can say that. It just looks weird. Was the first ever pterosaur to be discovered. Pterosaur. Yeah, pterosaur. I'm not going to bother anymore. I'm not going to bother reading anymore because I'll just I'll get it all wrong. But I think she's going to love that. And um, yeah, it's just cute little facts about dinosaurs. Ah, I'll do this one. Did you know Brachiosaurus lived in North America and Africa in the late Jurassic period, 155 to 140 million years ago? And that's what it looks like. He's there eating a tree. So a pound for a little book, which I'll give to my niece. And if she loves little facts and things, I've got, I've got her those. I also picked up these really cute um, photo frames. So I just thought my, oh, my lipstick out behind the photo frames. These were a pound each and they're really nice because they've got frames on them. So for a pound, I thought that was brilliant. So I'm going to put some of our wedding pictures in these. So they're just plain white wood with like that cardboard I said frame, didn't I? I meant to say it had a mount. So it's a photo frame with the mount, which I just think it makes it look really, um, I don't know, it just, just gives it a really nice finish. It looks more classic and classy, doesn't it? When you have like the mount on a picture. Um, so I really like that. You can take it out as well. So it gives you the options of seven by five photo frame, or you can do six by four without the mount. So it's quite handy, isn't it? So if you have big photos or small ones and it can go both ways as well. So they were a pound each, these just white wooden photo frames. So I got a set of three. So I'm gonna put our, some of our wedding photos in here. I'll probably put them in the green living room because they'll look, they'll look nice in there. Lee got me some lovely frames actually, um, like pearl, mother of pearl frames they're gorgeous for Christmas so he put some photos in there so I just need some for the other side and I'll print off some some different ones and then just a couple of bits from pound I didn't didn't go too mad so I've got a bag so I've got one of these re reusable ones so that was a pound that's not very interesting though is it one size a pound for this bag I do like a reusable bag they're very handy that was a pound and then I got Rufus some um, He's not out there. Rufus the dog, some Denta Life uh, tooth brushing, not tooth brushing, tooth cleaning um, sticks. He loves these. You get seven in here. Natural cleaning action They're for a small dog. So he has one of these every couple of days and he loves them. Rufus! You won't be far. Rufus! Where is he? Rufus, do you want a... He might be outside. He goes out the cat flap. Rufus! He might come in. He might must be outside. So yeah, we've got seven in those, seven in there for a pound. So some little things for Rufus for Rufus. And then some chewing gum. So some what's this? Blueberry flavoured chewing gum, which is nice to just have in your bag when you need a little some, something to yum 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 to chew on. Also got some little hair bands because I always need these as well. So I've got my posh scrunchy one and I've got some of these because I just keep losing them so I'll just chuck those on there and then I picked this up maybe I'll turn it around this way this um fabulosa lemon sherbet uh all-purpose degreaser so I thought that'd be really good for the greasy areas so I've got a few different greasy areas that sounds weird you know like oven and you know greasy areas you know, you have like a greasy stain or something. I don't know what a greasy stain is. You go to Ewan for all your cleaning tips. So basically, this says on here, on here Fabulosa degrease is specially formulated to remove all grease and oil from tough areas. It's designed to be used on a variety of oven would be good. A variety of surfaces, kitchen surfaces, engines and machinery. Um, it's also gentle enough to remove grease spots from fabrics. That's good. I I need you. I've got a little tiny grease spot on my on my pillows on my lovely linen pillowcases I had it in the car and something dripped on it I don't know what it was whatever we were eating something went on it made a tiny teeny greasy tiny mark so that's good isn't it to know so I shall I'll be careful though because I don't want to you know ruin my lovely linen um pillowcases but yeah a pound for that and 500 millilitres any tips with how to do that kind of thing. 
pop them in the comments. Oh, I'm wearing my uh, hairband from last week's video and the dress as well from last week's video. So I got this uh, from a charity shop, this dress, it was five pounds and this um, hairband is kind of woolly. I had lots of like fuzz stuff come in last week's video, which I noticed, so apologies, apologies, apologies if you saw like it was trying to say hello to you all. So I'm like, hello, hello, I had this new hairstyler thing. Oh, here he is, um, Rufus. I had a new hairstyler thing and I think it made it a bit like, woohoo. So I do apologize if I had some fly away. Not that you, you don't care, do you? So yeah, this is my little hairband I had in, I got last, well, showed you in last week's video. So it's quite a nice colour for spring because it's um it's green and it's like woolly which I think is quite nice but it's quite, quite big um but yeah this dress was a fiver from I think a Sue Ryder this little cute sort of springy dress Rufus is here I've just chucked your hang on I'll go and get Rufus Rufus it was from last week's video as well Rufus what have I got for you oh, oh my god there I'm gonna pick him up and then I'm gonna go back Cleaning. Do you want your teeth cleaning? Oh, do you want a, do you want a dentist stick? Doesn't got the same ring to it. Do you want to go down? Okay then. Hi and bye from Rufus. Um, right. So Poundland, the final thing for these kitchen rolls. So I've been looking for some reasonably priced kitchen rolls, and these were they're quite. Well, I don't know if it is expected. Four pounds for three. But they are massive, like they're mighty, mighty XL strength. They're still quite a lot, but I think oh, everything's going up, isn't it? So the cheapest I found kitchen rolls, I do like to use a bit of kitchen roll. The cheapest I found is Lidl, 99p for two, but they are a lot smaller. So maybe these are better for money because they are huge. These massive um, kitchen rolls, you get three in here and they're longer as well. So it probably is better value, isn't it? Sometimes when you spend more, it can be better in the long run. These are, they are big, mighty strength. That's all the Poundland things. So shall I do Tesco things next? I've only got a couple of things from Tesco. I've got some of their books, you know, on their little shelf thing they do for charity. I had to look and they were 50p each and I managed to find two books. This one looks really nice. So this is called The Great British Picnic Guide. So it says all you need to know is to plan the perfect picnic, including over 80 seasonal recipes. And I really like the look of it. So there'll be some picnicky ideas and food and, you know, things to do. Oh, look at that. Goat's cheese and pesto tart. I'd love that. I bet Luke would make a really good. He'd make everything. Everything he make, makes would be good. That looks nice as well. Chicken and garlic mayo wraps. Open sandwiches. Pitter pockets. Oh, I like a pit. I can make a pitter pocket. Can you pick a pocket door too? I do love a picnic. I like having a picnic in the garden. It's nice to take things out or, you know, off, but I like a little picnic in a barbecue. What? What is that? What did I just say? I like a picnic in a barbecue. As I was looking at a page, it showed a barbecue thing. So that's, what, that, that's why I said it. It's a barbecue spare rib. So that's why I said I like a picnic and a barbecue. Anyway, I thought this looked lovely. That looks nice. Oh, now puddings as well. Pim's jellies. Oh yeah. That looks amazing for the summer. The RRP on here is $14.99. Who's it by? Mark Price. I don't know who he is, but obviously he loves a picnic and he shared his knowledge. So that was 50p in the Tesco like, book section thing. And this was 50p as well. Maybe it was two for a pound. I think that's why maybe I, I got two. So this looked good. This is Ruth Jones, Never Greener, number one bestseller. Sometimes we wonder what we might have been. So I got that, um, yeah, from Tesco. And the other things I got from Tesco were these um, plants. So they're really pretty. They caught my eye and I do love them. Um, I do love purple. So I got two of them. I've just put them in double pots so the mud wouldn't go everywhere. They're so pretty. They were three pounds each. So I got a few and got four of them and they're called Campanula. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Campanula, little delicate purple flowers. So pretty. Kind of looks like cress. No, the stuff under here, obviously not cress. 
really pretty. It says that they're gonna last a couple of months. So I'll put this down. Oh, it's got a bit of mud on it. Um, so I'm gonna put them in. Oh, some pots I got from B&M, which I'll show you in a second. Hello, Rufus. You can't have another one of those. He's just come back in. So it says two months guarantee, spring, summer, they get go up to 30 centimetres and they spread 50 centimetres. Place in full sun to partial shade in fertile, well-drained soil. So I can put those in containers, can't I? Yeah, suitable for beds and containers. So I'm going to put these out the front, actually. I've got some in these pots I'm going to show you from B&M. So I'll just put that, I'll put it in there. And is that everything? No, that's it from Tesco. So I'll show you the B&M things, actually, and then I'll, I'll show you my charity shop. I've only got a couple of things from the charity shop. So I will put these lovely plants, hello Rufus, these gorgeous purple, beautiful delicate plants in these pots, hello. <laughs> um, and these were from B&M and I think they're just beautiful, I love them. So sort of grey concrete pots, they were five pounds each, they've got bees on them and like a honeybee, like honeycomb thing. So it's like the bees are making honey. Hello, Rufus is like sniffing the air. Just a cement planter on the bottom. They didn't have many. Uh, these were indoors actually. They, need, they had onto sunflowers, I think, as well. And I just got the bee ones. So I do need another two of them. So I'll have to put back to B&M because I want them outside. Uh, I've got little olive trees and I want them either side of the olive trees in the pots and they'll look really pretty. But how good is that for five pounds? I think that is brilliant. They're, they're so, they're just lovely. Such lovely detail. And I think they'd be, you know, if you saw them, you think they were really expensive. I think they're gorgeous. And I've got two of them. And I'm going to put the purple plants from Tesco in them. And then I'm on to my charity shop items. So just a couple of things. I got another book. This looked really good. It's called Those People. And it's by Louise Candlish. It says, you think, you think, you know, bad neighbours. Think again. Ah! I do love books like this, like thrillery ones. I've just finished a really good one. And I'm onto my um onto my next. It's called The Perfect Girl, and it started really good. I do love a book. And I also got this lovely scarf. Although I'm probably going to use this as a tablecloth for spring, so I think it'll look really pretty. I could use it as both, really. 99p for this um scarf, but it's really big. It's got these little pom poms on it, and yeah, it's huge. It's a lovely scarf. I love this colour. It's like a peachy a peachy pink. So it'd be really nice as a scarf. I love the pom I do love a pom pom. So really cute as a little scarf, and then it doesn't look good with these colours though. It's all too pale, isn't it? And then look really nice on a on a table because it's yeah, it's massive. Really big, long. So I think that'd look nice on a little table with little pom poms dangling off on the end. So that's lovely. Really nice um paley pink colour. So that's 99p. Um, so I'll just chuck that over there. And then my final thing, yeah, the last thing in this haul, or the last things, because there's three of them, are these beautiful cocktail glasses. I think that's what they're called. So I've got three of them. I'll just show you one, though. So no point showing you all three of them, because they're exactly the same. These were half price from, I think it was St Elizabeth Hospice Charity Shop in Great Yarmouth. All their bric-a-brac was half price. And I've actually got, I don't know if you remember, some gin glasses in exactly the same design. So it's exactly, I don't know what the make is, but I have big lovely gin glasses with this scalloped detail on top. And I used, I've used them recently, but they're actually really hard to drink out of. I love how they look, I think they're beautiful, but you kind of like, you know, you've got to drink out of a certain point. I still did, I used it the whole night, but it wasn't the best to drink out of, but I just think they're so beautiful. So I've now got gin glasses and these cocktail -y, cocktail -y glasses, or I don't know what you'd call them, but 50p each. I thought that was so good. Gorgeous. They're going to look so pretty with little drinking and fruits. So they're really nice for, I will use them as well. Just They're impractical, but I will still use them. And they look lovely on Instagram pictures, I think, as well, in the summer with drinks in. Just gorgeous. A really nice size, actually. So they're quite, they're quite wide. They're not small or anything. They're a good size, and they're quite tall. You know how sometimes these little glasses are, are really small, but yeah, let me know what you'd use them for. I suppose some people would probably, I don't know, put a little pudding in there or maybe a, a prawn cocktail, but I will, um, I use them for little cocktails, I think. I think they're gorgeous. So pretty. So £1.50 for all three of these lovely scalloped glasses. They just need a wash. A bit of 
dust in them. I'll give you a good old wash and be, you'll be brand new. You can hang out with your gin balloon glasses that are just like you. You might know them. You might have, It could be from the same house, actually. You never know, do you? All this charity shop stuff in one area it might have come from the same places. I don't know. If you could talk, you could tell me some stories, but you can't because you're an object. Um, so that is everything that is the end of the haul. So I really hope you enjoyed it. So there were some Poundland items. We had some B&M things, some lovely delicate flowers from Tesco. So pretty. I love purple. Such a nice, um, well, it's so vibrant, isn't it? I love purples and pinks. It's gorgeous and green. Like the folk, like the, you know, the, the stuff it grows on. And um and my lovely mug of the day from last week as well. Love this cup. Um so yeah, let me know your favourite item, add it in the comments below, and I shall speak to you next week. I think I've got a vlog next week, so a few people have been asking um for me to do an out and about shopping type vlog that I'll be here next week at two o'clock. But if you missed last week's video, like I said at the start, it was a charity shop haul, so loads of amazing things, including a white company, brand new, I think it's brand new, dressing gown. It's just absolutely lovely so have a look at that video in case you haven't watched it and also link the other ones that I filmed um you know the Fridays before that will all be below as well as my Instagram um account thing so I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and my house account is Kate's Georgian Home so I'll link those below but thank you for watching I really hope you enjoyed this mixed haul things from Tesco I think I've shown much from Tesco before um so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you next week at two o'clock have a lovely weekend see you later bye bye